Y'all, we have time for just one more segment. And of course, this is our jam of the week. Oh, fuck yeah. Do you know this one, Carter? Uh, I've heard of this band, but I can't tell you I've ever like listened to them. This is uh, Bullet for My Valentine with their song from 2010's album Fever. This song is called. This is, a, this is what we call fashion core. I oh believe. yeah, this is a <laughs> eyeliner metal core. There's this, this this genre went by a few names in the early aughts. Oh yeah, and this song is called Your Betrayal. Uh, <laughs> so uh, that's what we got going on here. Pretty lengthy intro here. Oh oh, there's a lot of people that uh, said that the intro was the only part of the song that wasn't lame as hell. Uh, right. So this part I could definitely bust some reps out too. Yes. Oh yeah, there was a lot yeah, of that. That's actually like a pretty. It's like yeah, no, no, it's not. That's not bad. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this song uh, has 93 million views. Is that band this big? Wow. God damn. That's wow. that's why I picked it. Is because I was looking for like kind of metal-y type bands, and then I was looking at all their shit, and their top three songs are all like hovering around over 100 million views. Like this band, 18 Visions, they, they have like a whole subsect of like fans. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, this, like, weirdly, this band's from Wales, too, I found out. They're not, really? Yeah, they're Welsh. Uh, so there was a couple comments with being like, this is why I know what Wales is. <laughs> <laughs> like someone saw it on the CD booklet and looked it up. Princess Di would be spinning in her grave. Oh, somewhere. yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, 93 million views, 24,956 comments, and y'all I read every goddamn last one of them. Here so. comes the vocals that sound like this. Oh, yeah. 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 It's like uh, just it. before Screamo. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, there was there was somebody who was just like. It's so funny that bands that like th- are of this age are like, you know, now in like their late 40s or whatever. And like they're all on their hair metal reunion tour. Oh, yeah. So like, I mean, it, it's I don't know. You can. These guys are probably like, you know, would open for Metallica or something now. Uh, they were opening for Avenged Sevenfold uh, most Even recently. I, I saw that's probably more accurate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They could probably, the, the Avenged Sevenfold could sell out, is it the forum I'm thinking of? Yeah, potentially, yeah. yeah. With, yeah. As long as they had a couple of other bands with them, like maybe. Yeah, right, right. It's got to be a package nostalgia maybe deal. Testament op- uh, <laughs> was middling, and then these guys were right, opening. Right, right. But yeah, let's get down into these YouTube comments for your betrayal. Uh, first up, yeah. first up, the Dark Lithium from two months ago, <laughs> six a.m. Doing lines, wife's shit. in bed. God, I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's sad. This man is afflicted. Dude. That's very sad. Yeah, when you're seeing the sun come up. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like, this song makes me feel like I want to fucking kick a door down. Like, start my I'm addicted day. to drugs, and I'm, I have to hide it from my wife. I was makes thinking me about how I wish my wife was dead, and I could be fucking somebody else. <laughs> she doesn't deserve me. Shit. Oh, I am painfully self-aware. Um, well, uh, sorry, Dark Lithium. <laughs> There's recovery out there. Just got to reach it, that hand out and seek help, buddy. So this is a good song to party to, uh, is what I'm gathering. If you're by yourself or at to 6 shamefully do drugs in the morning before your family <laughs> finds you. Wakes up. <laughs> yeah, it's a good song to do cocaine and then pour out some cinnamon life cereal for your children. Uh, <laughs> uh, I love this username. Daddy's mood swing. <laughs> I love this username. I used to be a musician from five years ago. Uh-oh. Damn. But what happened? Even people that don't like emo like this song. <laughs> <laughs> I remember it dropped at Interskate Roller Rink one night, and even the rap junkies lost their shit. <laughs> I'm a rap junkie. I know. I was just yeah. thinking about Sam. This is so crazy. I was like, it, it must be like West Side Story at that roller rink where it's like the, the, rap, the rap junkies the rap and the punkers junkies. and the losers. It's like the yeah. Ferris Bueller ladies and the skizoids and yeah, the yeah. mop tops. They all thought Bullet for Valentine's were righteous dudes. Ooh. You know what's crazy? This this is someone's favorite band. Oh, oh for oh, sure. Yeah. Big Multiple time. people have tattoos of this band. Big yeah. time. Yeah. We're the rock stars. Ooh, wow. Uh, <laughs> Down to the name. Uh, oh, Bullet yeah. for my Valentine's. Like, Fuck you, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, stupid. Uh, Poru297 from four years ago. I wish I could play this fucking awesome, insane song in front of my girl's house so she could not even <laughs> dare to call my name again. 
pay the price of your betrayal. Oh, we knew we would have one of those. Oh, there's a lot of those. <laughs> Someone wants to in your eyes, Peter Gabriel, this song. <laughs> right, <laughs> but yeah. just to harass this woman, you not to try to win. You friend. You fuck my best friend. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. That's, oh, what, yeah. that's my favorite part. It's not to, like, win them back. It is literally just to, to torture like, them. To fuck with them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all those, by the way, all those people uh, who are always like, cool oh, boy. Boy, lady, fuck my best friend. Guess what? No, she didn't. <laughs> also, you know why? Because that ain't your best friend. Yeah, that wasn't your lady, and that wasn't your best friend. No. You know <laughs> no. what they? You know what they came together over the hatred of you. Yeah. Like, literally, literally. Yeah. they cut they, you out of their life. They dog. hate fucked each other, thinking about how much they hate you. Yeah, yeah, and then they'd probably talk about it afterwards. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm so glad we did that. <laughs> She's so annoying. <laughs> 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 and her friend's like, I know, I hate her. That wasn't even good sex. I just <laughs> needed to get it out of me. <laughs> well, this guy has a great idea for a business. Beer Bart from two years ago. Of course he does. This music video made me question why we don't have cinemas that just play music videos like this. Cinemas. Like, this shit wouldn't be very good as a concert, but it'd be amazing on a giant screen and a giant dark carpeted room full of people just banging out. Your idea of social interaction is so strange. <laughs> Hanging out like like fucking, uh, or, or doing I, heroin, I, perhaps. I, I think head banging. I think yeah. Right. That's what he means. Pit, maybe they're in the pit. Yeah. In the movie theater. You know. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's so funny that he hates live music. No, but he loves movie theater. What he yeah, wants yeah, is yeah. everybody to be sitting in the chairs and head banging. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, that, that's yeah. a good point. And there's yeah. air conditioning. Yeah. It, yeah. Yeah. I'm, you, you, you know, know, I will say to this point. One time, me and Rivers went to go see. A Queen concert movie. Yeah, that was rad. It, it was uh, it was at the uh, Chinese theater. Yeah, and it was like Queen playing in like the early '80s and Ooh. shit. It was cool, and it was like they remastered it and everything. But there were people in the crowd who were like yelling at the screen. Yeah. Oh yeah. And it was off putting. Yeah, they, yeah. They were yeah. going like, "Woo, we love you, Freddie!" Right, <laughs> right. Like, right. This like, man is dead. He's been dead for a really <laughs> long time. This isn't a concert, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah but they like, enjoyed the music. Yeah. <laughs> It was off-putting. Uh, Diablo Kelso from 14 years ago. It's like Diablo Cody and <laughs> Ashton Kutcher's character from that 70s uh -huh. show. Uh, and again, different time, but did think this was funny. I actually think this video is awesome. Like, it seems gay at first, but <laughs> <laughs> if you watch it, it's all about the seven deadly sins. Oh, man. So, so deep. So, yeah, so as I say, what, a, what a cutting. Uh, <laughs> what a, and I don't know if you know this, but one of the seven deadly sins is being gay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what if he began his, his doctorate thesis like that? I don't mean to sound gay or nothing, but. <laughs> yeah. Diablo it was 14 years ago, so Diablo Kelso could have been a child at this point and now is literally a doctor. You know, wow. that much time has passed. That's cool. Uh, Life's crazy. <laughs> Sandy in in from one year ago. Someone will pay. <laughs> <laughs> Kina, you dumb idiot. You should have better stayed away. I'm not that kind of woman to be playing games with. Oh, man. Do not surround yourself with idiot. Surround yourself with people which love truly <laughs> instead. P.S. Getting a husband would help me a lot. <laughs> I bet it would. And Fuck the system. <laughs> All caps with fuck the system. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Man. Yeah, with the ellipses after each word to which, emphasize which it. Which system? YouTube's or? I think just the whole yeah. damn thing. Yeah. Burn it down. This is that you file this one under the flamethrower to society category. <laughs> I the, love that one. And the cell category. <laughs> fem cell. Oh, yeah. Deaf Power Ranger from six years ago. Saw them live. What a great handle. <laughs> <laughs> There's some really good handles in this. <laughs> Saw them live in Athens. I almost got beat up by their bodyguards because my girlfriend at the time tried to jump the fence after the show <laughs> and find the band. Naturally, she liked the singer. Awesome times. Good music. Weird girls. BMX. Freedom. Dot, dot, dot. I was like, did freedom, you, did freedom you die? Did my girlfriend trying to fuck the singer? <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I, always, of course. I always wonder what the people who think like, <laughs> When you show up to my bullet for my Valentine and you're like, I literally jumped over the fence because I was so excited to meet you. They'd be like, <laughs> you're a freak. Get the fuck away from me. <laughs> you're like the new Beatles. Um, Mad Dog Wally, 14 years ago. I'm a 50-year-old rocker, and my son turned me on to these fucks. <laughs> <laughs> As a professional 50-year-old rocker. <laughs> These fucks. <laughs> you 
fuck? Love it. I just got too old to see him because, well, you do the <laughs> Wait, math. he meant that as a term of endearment. Yes. <laughs> look, at these, they, look at these fucks. He turned me on to these fucks. <laughs> Love it. Just too old to get to see them because, well, you do the math. And this one was 14 <laughs> years ago, too? Yeah, yeah. So, so that guy's 64. He's 64 years old. Wow. He's like, he's dead. He's man. dead. He's 100% dead. <laughs> he's, too, he's too old to go to a show at 50. So yeah, yeah. That's pretty bad. Yeah. yeah his kid his kid is sad right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> More happy. But his dad's not beating him anymore. Sorry, well, that was playing, a terrible joke. He's playing the song for his friends, <laughs> being like, this is my dad's favorite band. You know that, right? <laughs> uh, Chen from four years ago. Ten years? Yeah, I'm the one who's betrayed <laughs> yep. by my yep. best friend. Oh, there we go. But people judge me. And they say that I'm the one who betrayed him because, yeah, he can act so good. So I'm the public enemy now. <laughs> this is fucking shit. Whatever. <laughs> Big thanks to Bullet for my Valentine. I come here to get my feelings back and remember what happened in the past. Could I take revenge? Oh, Jesus. Wait, because he could act so good. So the, <laughs> they were both in some sort of star search situation. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's his friend's friend like, is Joey Fatone. He's a fake. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's a fake friend. He's acting, yeah. you know? Yeah. People Four are, years ago. People are on his side, even though he's not the one who betrayed him. This guy betrayed him, but the other one can act so good. Ha- has this person taken revenge yet? I don't know. It, yeah, he just says, could I take revenge? He's just entertaining the notion. Uh, <laughs> I play with these thoughts daily, <laughs> <laughs> uh, got a few more here uh, lame dog from five months ago perfect mm. Hunter Biden and my Mexican ex Rosa <laughs> ran me over together in Oklahoma while Wild I was on shit. Mi- while Wild shit lame dog while I was on military leave and now she wants the handicapped boy to beat us blame us chew us up spit us out make him pay the sacrifice bills for her mess too nice and too dumb to know Damn, Hunter, <laughs> he's trying to sue Fox News right now for I, defamation. He better definitely ran over his head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's like, lame because uh, Hunter Biden. <laughs> <laughs> In like the deposition, Your Honor, may I direct you to the comment section of Bullet for My Valentine's <laughs> Chugga to Chugga song? <laughs> <laughs> the drums sound like a machine gun, Your Honor. <laughs> 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 At the risk of sounding gay, Your Honor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and finally, not that there's anything wrong with it. <laughs> yeah, it becomes a very Seinfeldy. Yeah. And finally, rise up from two months ago. Perfect. I've been here and I felt everything that this song describes. She was full of lies, fighting, manipulation at its finest. Mm. <laughs> I could feel the darkness every time I entered the house when she was around. And you're like, but man, you kept, that's you kept entering. Bro. Well, that's like that's pretty depressing. And then you realize that this is going to take a turn into the literal. Uh, w- waking in the middle of the night, I used to find her with her eyes wide open and black as hell. I'd find scratches all over my body. She invited a demon from the depths of the underworld into the house. Shit. <laughs> Women. It started weird, and it got weirder. I made her in the relationship, and she left. But what was that thing that scratched me every night when we were living together? It took me a while to figure it out. But as this soon person has never <laughs> <But> had sex. <laughs> <laughs> this person has never had a girlfriend. There's never I, was, girl I there. dated a demon, bro. <laughs> it took me a while to figure it out. But as soon as she left, I chased out the demon myself. This song helped me get through all of this. Yeah! This, it sounds like a yeah. supernatural episode. That was perfectly timed. Yeah. Wow. 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 Hell yeah. Get out! Yeah, yeah. Well, that is Bullet for My Valentine and their tune. What's the name of this song? Oh, Your Betrayal. <laughs> that is. Your Betrayal! Wow! Our jam of the week. 